I was um, absolutely elated when um, you, I received a letter to say that I was going to be inducted. You know, it's something that it's, I'm not always comfortable with, is accolades and, and the like, but, um, you know, to be inducted into a, a, an organisation or a, a group of guys with the, the quality and calibre of names in there is um, you know, absolutely fantastic. Uh, no, look, you're right. I, um, whilst I loved umpiring and, uh, you know, really wanted to succeed, um, I never ever thought it was uh, the, the be all and end all of, of, of my life. Uh, I've always been involved in many different things. Young, I had a young family when I was doing it as well, and so uh, I really enjoyed, um, you know, those aspects of my life as well as umpiring. Yeah, look, it was great to have success, and it was fantastic as I reflect on on some of those um, grand finals and, and games and, and times with mates, um, you know, in whatever outside we did. Um, it, yeah, it wasn't the, the be-all and end-all for me, and I think that certainly helped uh, the, the way I umpired, um, you know, those games. I've taken my bows and my... You know, I've been fortunate enough to umpire a couple of grand finals before that. Um, you know, I had a, a really good understanding of, of what to expect when you're umpiring grand finals, and, and so, you know, there I was, I'd done three or four grand finals, and to have a really couple of close grand finals like the, the West Coast and Sydney games, um, it was certainly different in that, uh, you know, I felt the pressure a lot more because, you know, one or two bad decisions in that uh, situation, uh, you know, could have had a massive impact on, on the outcome. And, and so, yeah, you, you really felt that. And uh, I think uh, pride in performance, mainly, Pete. I, you know, in whatever I do, I always thought that if you're going to do something, you, you do it to the best of your ability.